Hey everybody, it's Scott Steen with WinnersAndWiners.com coming to you from the C-Dub studio on the expensive first floor of the Winners and Winers Sports and Entertainment Complex to bring you today's Deep Three. As always, if you would be so kind to give us the old thumbs up, tell us that you approve of what we're doing, if you like what we're doing, if we made you a little money the last couple days, give us the old thumbaroo, we appreciate it. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, what the hell? Um, get yourself subscribed. Make sure that you hit the bell to get notified every time we put up a new video. And we will put them, be putting them up fast and furious like we did yesterday with our two videos on the uh, Monday night game. So, with that being said, let me get to the most important part. Let us know what you're playing. Tell us in the comments section, what are you on today? Are you tailing the big man? Are you fading me? You think, you think the run's over and it's time to fade away? Whatever it is, let us know. Tell us what picks you're on in the comments section. Not just uh, baseball or football, but maybe you got some soccer, maybe you got some tennis cooking, whatever it is, put that play in there. When you win it, we'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right. Just like C-Dub, you, my friend, will be the capper of the day. What could be cooler? Um, well, all the money that you'll make from winning your bets. That's pretty cool, too. And, of course, the reason we're all here, don't forget to check out our websites, winnersandwiners.com, statsalt.com, deep dives into every contest going on in America. Every single solitary day. Hey, man, if you can bet on it, you can bet we're writing about it over at Winners and Winners and Stat Salt. Check out our partners, uh, our great partner in the great state of New Jersey and Iowa, PointsBet.com. Hey, uh, just it's it's the coolest it's the coolest site, guys. Uh, check them out. They're now running free contests. If you're if you're not in a state where you have sports betting legal yet, or, or, uh, PointsBet is there. They're doing free contests where you do a pick them up to twenty five thousand dollars a week in prizes. Check that out um, as you wait for them to come to your state. All right. So, a uh, quick recap of yesterday. Uh, pretty good day. Pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Uh, we did we did well. We had uh, we had Buffalo. And you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you guys. A couple of these picks, uh, they had to come charging back to get, to get home. <laughs> it looked a little grim on a couple of them. We had the Buffalo Bills. They went down early. I think they were down 18 zip to the New York Jets. Uh, by the way, Jets need a place kicker, so if you if you know anybody, I uh, might want to give them a call. I think they'll be looking tomorrow. Um, yes, uh, they they end up with a one point win as the Jets miss an extra point and a field goal. Oh, poor guy, poor guy. Uh, Buffalo took care of business. Minnesota, that was that was our that was uh, the one that we uh, never ever uh, were in doubt about that one. The Vikings uh, did did their thing. Dalvin Cook, he did his thing, and uh, yeah, good day for the Vikes. And the Arizona Cardinals took a flyer on that with the with the plus three. Man, I told you, I told you that the, the, I had a hunch that the Murray was going to be good, or it could be a, this could be a spectacularly bad bet. And for the first three quarters, it looked like a spectacularly bad bet as they had three first downs uh, through in, into the into the well into the third quarter. But then uh, Murray caught fire, threw for 154 yards in the fourth quarter. The Cardinals came roaring back. They couldn't quite get the win. They had first and goal in overtime, settled for the field goal. Then they gave up the tying field goal. And then kind of a pussy move, fourth and seven from about the uh, 40 or so. And they punted. Come on. Really, Kingsbury? Go for the win, you pussy. God damn it. All right. So that I wanted to see him win after, after that. So they punted. Detroit... Tried to give it to him. Uh, Matt Stafford threw a, what should have been a pick six or at least uh, enough yardage to run out of bounds and kick a field goal with, on third down. And then uh, they conjured up their own wimpiness and just uh, just pretty much took the snap on fourth down threw it out of bounds. Well, if, if I can't win, nobody's going to win. He just threw the ball away. So, uh, yeah. So it ended in a tie. But that's a win for us because we were plus three. So 3-0 three we go there. We go 2-0 on the premium side. Great thing about the premium plays today, uh, you didn't have to stick around long to find out that you were a winner. It's kind of like our Syracuse play yesterday, only in reverse, as we had uh, the Chiefs and we had the Baltimore Ravens. Both of those teams went up early, and it was over, Rover. In fact, on a personal level, I pounded the Chiefs five different times, minus the points, up until minus 12 and a half, and got home on all of them. So, um... <laughs> I saw somebody on Discord at, at halftime. They they put up uh, uh, Chiefs 
uh, under 24 for the second half, and I thought to myself, oh, no, 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 that's not, that's not going to end well for you. And it did not. But, uh, by the way, stop by Discord. Check out that. we got our Discord channel over there. I'll throw the link up in the description. So, anyway, 2-0 and we go there on the premium side. 5-0 and to start our first NFL Sunday. By the way, guys, um, we talked about this. We, we finished our season uh, last year on a, on a nice run. We went 43-8-1 to finish the football season last year. We have started on a football season this year, including preseason, 37-15-1. Uh, and one. That's preseason and uh, regular season and college. That, my friends, is 88-26-3 for our last 117. 77.2%, 47.3% ROI. Yeah, if somebody just told that to me, I'd think you're full of shit, too, and that's not even possible. But there it is. We've, had, we've been on a hell of a run. Probably, uh, probably the best run of my life for, for that many games, I would, I would honestly have to say. And, uh, you know, it's the first time I've been able to spend all day handicapping, and it really, I think it shows. So, anyway, that's, that's the, and, you know, as far as uh, uh, being, uh, having those picks confirmed, I confirm them every day. Those picks are all on video. They are all still on our site. Feel free. Go back. Um, I've had a lot of people that have been with me since that streak, so you guys will absolutely back me up on this. So, anyway, uh, enough bragging. Let's go on to today's action, shall we? All right. Hey, we're going to go back to baseball, guys. I'm going to take a couple spins here. Uh, we've got the Braves and the Phillies going there in Philadelphia. Braves on the road catching 6-5, to five, plus 120. Fulton Evich goes for the Braves against Aaron Nola for the Phils. You know, Fulton Evich is another pitcher for the Braves, uh, a lot like Julio Terran, where you look at his peripherals, and you look, you look at his record and you go, that does not make much sense. But uh, to quote uh, DJ Khaled, DJ Khaled, uh, all he does is win, win, win. All right. Uh, he has a, a 4.72 ERA and a 1.55 whip over his last nine games. Uh, why are those nine games special? Why do I mention them? Well, simply because the Braves have won every one of them. <laughs> they are 9-0 and in Fulton Evage's last nine start. Um, the Braves... Well, they have gone wire to wire so far this season, and they have really found another gear lately. They have won 20 of their last 25, including nine of their last 10. And now you're gonna get you're gonna give me six to five back in a pitcher that's won eight straight uh, versus a team that's struggling to stay relevant in the Philadelphia Phillies and a pitcher who's been good this season, but uh, struggled a little bit lately, and he got lit up his last time out. I'm just I'm not past. It's, it's on sale. It's like going to the store. You don't really need it, but God damn it, it's such a good price. I like the Braves, plus 120 right here against the Phillies. And we're going to take a look as the A's and the Astros get together in tango down there in Houston. Mike Fires, 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 goes, yes, that's right, every time, goes for the A's against Zach Grinke for the Astros. You know, Mike Fires has uh, paid us a lot of money over on the premium side. We have backed him, and he has done very well for us. Um, but... We're gonna take it. We're gonna take a different spin because yesterday, um, apparently, the Texans put up uh, three touchdowns on a pretty good Seahawks defense. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm being told uh, that was 21 runs that were scored by the Houston Astros against the Seattle Mariners and their terrible pitching staff. My bad. Um, but we're gonna fade Mike Fires, and he's been very, very good to us. Uh, he's won eight straight, but. Storm clouds are on the horizon. And this is a guy that I always I always watch when he pitches. I always make sure the game is on. And he has uh, looked not great his last few outings. He's uh, got a 4.98 ERA, a 1.61 ERA uh, uh, whip, and uh, that is over his last four starts. He's made four starts against the Astros. Not great. 5.87 ERA against Houston. Now, Grinke, on the other hand, um, you know what? He's been fine since joining the Strays. He's got about a eh, 3.9 ERA. He's been doing fine. But just like Grinky does, he's starting to look a little bored, all right? The, the, the race is pretty much over, and uh, it, it shows. He, he, it's, he struggles to maintain interest. Um, he's got a, a 5.40 ERA, 1.36 whip over his last three. Um, as far as the Houston offense goes, even before putting up 21 yesterday, they were still on fire offensively. They'd averaged 6.7 runs over their last 12. I think the A's are going to be able to do their part to get us over as they have scored four or more runs in 15 of their last 18. Give me the A's. Give me the Astros. Give me Fires and Grinky. Two good pitchers. Two good teams. Give me the over nine right there. And 
Finishing up with an NFL pick as the Houston Texans and the uh, New Orleans Saints get together down there in the Superdome. Uh, there's two reasons for this pick. By the way, I'm looking at the uh, Saints in the first quarter, minus a half, minus 120. We're going to pay, we're gonna pay a juiced uh, line there on this one. Uh, two reasons for this. I don't think the Texans, number one, are going to be able to keep up with the Saints, all right? They just don't have the offensive firepower. They've got uh, a lot of new pieces on the offensive line. They've got struggles. They lost Lamar Miller. I think that they're going to be, uh, I think Deshaun Watson is going to spend a lot of time running for his life behind a pretty damn good New Orleans Saints pass rush that finished fifth in the league in sacks last year. But, uh, and uh, I, I, they may eventually come together, but I think this offense is going to take time to get it together. For the Houston Texans' sake, Hopefully it'll take them less than a game, but I think it's certainly going to take them more than a quarter. The uh, the Saints defense, surprisingly good down the stretch. In fact, when uh, Drew Brees kind of went in the tank there inexplicably in the middle to the end of last season, it was really the defense that pulled them through. And the defense is always much better at home where the crowd noise and often forces the, uh, the opposing offense into mistakes. Second reason I like this pick is purely intuitive, okay? I think the Rams lost has been festering since January with Houdat Nation, and Redemption Day is finally here, okay? Everybody knows that Drew Brees' window is closing. This may be it. This may be the last shot for Drew Brees. The fans in New Orleans, they are always crazy, but opening day, after a long winter of seeing that play over and over again, I think they're ready. I think Peyton is ready with plays. I think he's ready to... Go out there. I think he's got everything scripted. I think there's going to be some surprises. And I think they're going to come out firing. All right? Give me the New Orleans Saints first quarter minus a half, minus 120. Yeah, there's a little bit of a gamble there. If we lose the coin toss, we could be going two for one on possessions. But I think the Saints are going to be able to get it done. I think they'll make them punt at least once. And I like the Saints maybe 7-3 at the end of the first quarter, all right? So give me the Saints, first quarter minus a half. Give me those A's Astros over nine, and the Atlanta Braves plus 120 over the Philadelphia Phillies. At the end of those three games, you guys know the drill. You can join me. We'll pick up our winning tickets, and we will head back to the window. All right, everybody, let's uh, put up our uh, premium record here real quick. This is what we've done so far this month, by the way. On the uh, regular season NFL, we're five and one overall, and uh, we are excuse me excuse me we are uh, six and one overall. We went one and one Thursday night, five and zero oh yesterday, six and one overall, and we are three and zero oh on the premium side. We hit the uh, the Bears first half under the other day, and we hit both our premium picks today. So um, overall for the month, that is including uh, college pros and uh, maybe a bit of baseball or two thrown in there. We are twelve four and one seventy five percent so far for the month of September. So if you're interested in premium. Sure that you follow that link over there. Got a few more spots. Love to have you. Please, uh, please give us a holler. Got a few different options. Well, one of the pricing options should work well for you. All right. So, with that being said, let's take a look at the shoutouts for today, shall we? We had uh, we had some uh, nice uh, nice job by some cappers. Nobody was uh, nobody had a perfect day. I have to tell you that nobody had a perfect day. Uh, like C Dub did, but uh, we had a couple guys that were close. Uh, we'll start off with the uh, Super Cisco, another guy that's good to see back for uh, football season. Uh, Super Cisco, uh, he did put up the uh, he had the he had the Ravens and he had the uh, Steelers pant Patriots under. He had the Bengals plus ten and a half. Yeah, they, uh, didn't even need all of those, and that was a that was actually a pretty good game. Uh, he's got the Texans uh, on the uh, plus, he's got the Texans plus seven, so he's fading fading me on the. Uh, on the uh, on that New Orleans, he thinks the Texans are going to do well. Uh, do me a favor, Super Cisco. Make sure you drop that in the comment section for this video. All right. Uh, make sure that we'll get you counted on the Monday night game. So he went three and two yesterday, plus eighty. Uh, Bill Moore, man, Bill had a good hunch almost. He said Medvedev was look with was worth a look at plus four twenty five. Absolutely, Bill, and uh, that went to five sets. Very entertaining. I got to see the highlights of it. it looked very good. And especially uh, the fifth set there. But uh, Rafi did prevail, and uh, Medvedev gave a valiant effort, but didn't quite get home. Uh, Miguel and Nola. Uh, Miguel, he had the uh, the Pats, the Rams, the Bills, and the Vikes. Very nice job there. He goes 4-0 there. 
and he had a uh, a Ravens and a Cowboys six point teaser, and he had the Eagles team total under the uh, uh, he had the Eagles under fifty four and the Chiefs under fifty nine. Those did not pay off, but he goes uh, plus four hundred and picked up. Uh, uh, we'll say we'll say that he made uh, laid the. Uh, uh, ten to eleven. There, uh, we got plus one ten on his uh, on his teaser. So uh, he goes plus uh, plus five ten minus two twenty. So he goes plus two ninety on the day. Nice job, Miguel. Very very well done, my friend. And uh, the ninja. Uh, rough day for ninja. It's early in the season. I know you're gonna recover, recover brother. Uh, the legion of picks. He didn't uh, didn't have a bad day. He uh, kind of uh, got squeezed on the juice there. He goes. He has the uh, actually went three and two. He had uh, Denmark Denmark, but he did have uh, Italy and Finland over two. He had the Rams money line. He had the Patriots uh, minus the five and a half, and he didn't miss out on the Falcons. He goes three and two as well, and uh, we would call we would call that three and two plus eighty. Not a bad day at all, my friend. Not a bad day at all. Legion of picks. Everything on the positive side. That is a good deal. You know the drill. We uh, as long as we're as long as we're positive, we can live to fight another day. Uh, Jim R twenty. Uh, Jim R had a decent day. He goes three and two plus eighty. Terrence Fisher. He had a two team teaser, and he goes. Uh, he, he hit that one. It was the. Uh, he had the Ravens minus one and the Cowboys minus one, and um, he wins uh, one ten on that one. Uh, Matt Carrot, he checked in. Said he's basically burned out. He's going to tail C-Dub for a week or two. Uh, should keep him in, in good dough. And uh, Nipsey Bryant said he was burned out too. He lost a, Perla uh, a parlay with Verlander on the mound versus Kikuchi. Uh, good Lord. Uh, yeah, he says he struggled in baseball this year. Yeah, Nipsey hasn't been our baseball best baseball season either. Uh, the astute Aardvark, he had big ups, big props for C-Dub. Congratulations. He's a, brilliant, he's a brilliant soccer mind. He, and I absolutely agree with that. He agreed with my take on the cards. But not for the week. Oh, he had Chucky Snips with a low ball. He had the Lions minus three. He had my Chiefs minus three and a half. Chiefs under 49 and a half. And, uh, yeah, he goes one and two on those. Uh, C-Dub. C-Dub uh, wasn't, wasn't his best day. He uh, said he uh, he got his ass handed to him. I think he rallied later. But uh, not a, uh, a great deal on the uh, on his soccer plays. He did have Geis over uh, 40 whatever that was, but guys had a horrible day. Just, just awful. Just all you've been hearing about is how good this kid's going to be when he finally gets to play and the skins that he finally gets to play for the skins and he was dreadful. So, uh, Steve Gowden said, uh, in NCAA is his best. He's about 50, 50 in the NFL. And then he went out and went three and one. Hey, Hey, what's up, Steve? That's for that's 75%, brother. Uh, three and one plus one ninety. Nice job, Steve. Uh, G and G. He, uh, he kind of had a rough day at the Korean baseball. He, he did well last year. Uh, or last yesterday, rather, but uh, a little bit of a struggle today. Kiss the Degenerate said, yeah, man, I got your back. And I appreciate it, Kiss. I know you do. And then uh, he said he's going to have to be perfect like C-Dub. And he went out and almost was as he went 4-1 plus 290 on the day. Tyrone Linder said, uh, be great, Scott. <laughs> I will do my best, brother. Uh, he had uh, New England and the Chiefs from the Chalk God. All worship the Chalk God. We're not worthy, Tyrone. 2-0 plus 200. Nice day there. And the legendary king said, football is back. Said, so far I like the Bills plus 2.5. The other two, I don't know. Uh, maybe taking a teaser on the Falcons and Cardinals. You know what? I didn't get a definite on that. I'm going to call you a 1-0 for the day, LK. Uh, plus 100. So nice job. Legendary king. Tyrone Linder. Steve Gowden. Yeah, Terrence Fisher. And Jim R. 20. Legion of Picks, Super Cisco, all right, and Miguel in NOLA. Everybody uh, did a, a very fine job. And, of course, uh, Kiss to Degenerate. Hey, guys, we have, I didn't even notice, we have our first official tie. Our first official tie between uh, Miguel and NOLA at plus 290 and, um, oh, gee, uh, uh, um, Kiss the Degenerate at plus 290 as well. So, um, we are going to call it a tiebreaker. I'm going to say whoever won the most games. Let's see how that worked out. Uh, Kiss the Degenerate was a 4-1. And... One. and do, 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 do. Miguel and Nola 
He was one, two, three, four, and one, and he hit a teaser. So he goes five and two. You know what, brother? It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Kiss the degenerate. It is a hard luck off. It is a hard luck loss because Miguel hit five. You hit four. I'm gonna give it to him. That's my official tiebreaker. Miguel and Nola, congratulations, brother. That was a uh, that was a come from behind victory. That's sn that one snuck up on me. I got to tell you. And uh, way to go, my friend. You are our capper of the day. My way to go. All right, guys. Had a lot of fun. Let's uh, let's get her fired up. Double header night. We're gonna have a blast. Let's make go out there and make some money. All right. And then no matter what we do, we'll meet back here tomorrow. We will uh, bitch about our bad beats, brag about our fat stacks, and then because we're all DJs, we'll fire it up and we'll do it all again. All right. You guys take care. Have a great day. Good luck on all of your plays, and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.